All right, an update now to the firestorm over the 49ers backup quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, refusing to stand for the national anthem. Kaepernick says he's met with human rights lawyers and community activists in recent weeks and expects to release a list of policy proposals soon. Kaepernick telling USA Today, quote, I don't want to kneel forever. I want these things to change. I do know it will be a process, and it is not something that will change overnight, but I think there are some major changes that we can make that are very reasonable. Now, Kaepernick also recently announced he plans to make a $1 million donation to groups fighting racial injustice. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, I know that you have been so kind as to offer a Colin Kaepernick a copy of your new book, Killing the Rising Sun, yeah, we're gonna America's send it to Vanquishing him. World War II Japan. It is my contention, and I could be wrong, that uh, Colin Kaepernick does not understand the big picture of his country. I'll be very interested to see these so-called policy suggestions that he comes out with. Um, and I'll take them seriously. I mean, I'll look at them. But if I were sitting with Colin Kaepernick right now, on outnumbered, all right, and you had to bet on who was going to win the debate about patriotism in America, who are you going to put your money down <laughs> on, all right? And it's, here, here's the problem with Kaepernick. When you put yourself in a position to criticize and disrespect, which is exactly what he did, mm -hmm. the national anthem and your flag on 9-11, on that day, mm -hmm. then you better have a pretty damn good reason why you're doing it. Now, if he's going to fall back on that some black people have been killed by police, fine. That happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. And it should not happen. All right? And it should be investigated. But it happens very very seldomly, mm -hmm. all right? All the stats, all the studies show that, all right? So the stats are we're not a nation engaged in an act of trying to put down African Americans. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. So if you have a beef, an individual beef, I want to hear it. So if you're going to disrespect the whole country, then there's a problem. It wasn't just Colin Kaepernick. So now, it, after he did it, now other players are doing little some kids. sort of it. Little, now little kids. kids in high school are doing it. Right, because yeah. they don't understand the nobility of the nation. One of the reasons I wrote Killing the Rising Sun, to show the world and Americans that individual Americans gave their lives to free tens of millions of people all over the world. But Bill, don't you think that's broad to presume that he doesn't understand the nobility of America when, you know, certainly many people would agree that it's very American to, to protest and, and it's a There's part a of our There's a difference between a protest and a disrespectful protest. Okay. All right? There's a difference, and everybody should know that. My solution to this is the San Francisco 49er ownership should tell the whole team, mm -hmm. you need to abide by the rules. Here are the rules. When you're on the field in the presence of paying customers, mm -hmm. we don't want any political or social protests, period. But we are going to set aside a room for you, all right, okay. on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And anybody who wants to talk to the press mm -hmm. about any social beef can do so. All right? That's the fair compromise. But to impose your negative view, your unpatriotic view, in my opinion, on the fans, mm -hmm. the company that they work for, the 49ers or any other team, has the absolute right to say you cannot do that. Yeah. It's All interesting. Right. What you pointed out, too, though, is what we saw with Occupy and many other groups. That kind of narrowing of message didn't happen from the beginning. And, and you're right. It's hard to know what he stands for at yeah. this point. I love, I love Bill's suggestion. I will say I think it's fascinating, though, that we police the protests and we, we often ignore the message. But.